Hi guys, it's me, Kinkstars1980. I hope everyone is doing well. So in this video, I'm going to walk down memory lane and show you guys all of my length checks from year zero to my recent change, which is locks to year seven, okay? So right here, I'm just showing you guys how short my hair was. I had cut my hair off from relaxed hair and I had only one inch of new growth. So I started out with one inches of hair. <laughs> so anyway, so this is my hair. Obviously my hair is four type. I have all four types. My hair is kinky and it is, I say medium and it is, um, not fine or coarse it's like in the middle okay so this is my one year anniversary as you guys can see here I turned one year and it looks like I didn't grow much right but my hair shrinks 75% and you guys can see that in this video so at my one year mark the front was a little past my ears and the back of my hair was touching my collarbone you guys can see that and the front of my hair was touching the tip of my nose, as you can see here. Now, my hair grew about six inches every year. So I grew about six inches a year, a half an inch a month. And I knew this by just measuring my hair every month, and that's how I figure out what was realistic for my hair growth, okay? So you guys will see my hair um, length, double in length, from year to year you will see that so in this clip here my hair is in two strand twists and this is when I created my shea butter mix leave-in recipe and I loved it and I basically used it throughout my whole natural hair journey and this is my baby Madison and she is natural of course she's been natural since she's a baby she is now eight years old so yeah she's been natural for eight years <laughs> so here I am 18 months natural and as you can see my hair is armpit length okay and you can see the top of my hair here and you can see the back too pretty well in this clip I am now two years natural and you would definitely see a change in my two years of growth okay so you don't see as much shrinkage like you've seen before you can see from the tip of my nose now it's like past my chin there at two years so kind of double in length from one year to year two you can clearly see that in these clips okay so that's two years of growth and you can see I grew about 11 inches there so I was a little shy from 12 inches but I do grow about six inches that clip just showed 11 inches but I grew about six inches a year okay so now I am at three years and you can really see some hair on my head. <laughs> but don't be fooled because my hair shrinks a lot. So I have about 75% of shrinkage, meaning it looks so short but it's really long, okay? So here I'm at my three years and you can see I'm excited of course. And now I am like, now I have bangs. <laughs> All right, so basically now I have bangs, but as you can see, this is how long your hair has to be to actually get bangs, all right? All right, so this is the side, as you guys can see here, and I was just singing, like, let's see the song, please. <laughs> and this is the top, as you guys can see, and you can really see that my hair is really retaining those six inches per year so yeah so okay so now it's definitely past bra strap and it's like in the middle of my back okay so here I'm just showing you guys my protein treatment which is my avocado mix and it just kept my hair nice um, and stronger basically just gave my hair some strength because your hair you need protein now I'm at year number four and I feel like looking at these videos I feel like year four my hair was very healthy very shiny and it looked very full I really enjoyed year four this is my first 
braid out style as you can see it's very cool so shiny and so pretty like I really love hair for <laughs> and you can really see that my hair really grew those six inches from year three there's a lot of shrinkage but it really shows most of the length I would say a lot of the length let's just say it showed a lot of the length not most of it okay so as you can see my hair is pretty long and this year year four I grew about 20 inches or so I say about 20 21 19 to 21 but my hair grows pretty even throughout my head so I'll say a good 19 to 20 inches around my whole head um so yeah and I think the back actually grew longer not longer but it showed the length more because as you can see here I'm almost at waist length so here I was just showing you guys how to take care of your nape that 4C girls can definitely have long nape and how to take care of it definitely watch um, the nape um, video it's a very good video on how to take care of your nape area so that way you can have long hair in the nape area as well okay so now I'm at year five and this is when I flat iron my hair and I wish I did not flat iron my hair I'm gonna be honest I wish I did not do that okay but this is year five and my hair really took off now it's touching my belly button and now I'm definitely at waist length at year five I was definitely at waist length my hair was very full and it was very healthy but I did flat iron it which I shouldn't have done that okay so because I flat iron my hair at year five you're not gonna see a big change from year five to year six because I had to end up cutting about three to four inches between year five and year six and you will see that when I show you my six year length check so just keep that in mind okay all right guys so I'm here at year six so I'm super excited I'm six years natural of course and at this time I decided to show you guys my length when it was wet so I washed my hair so here I'm in the shower and as you like I said you can see that year five and year six was not a big difference but I was still able to retain hair I did grow hair but I cut it off so but I was able to retain the length from year five to year six and I was able to maintain at waist length okay so that's year six um, my hair was still healthy but my texture changed from me straightening okay so yeah guys that's it so now I'm on my new journey which is locking my hair I'm super excited I get to you know just relax when it comes to my hair I just want to thank all of you guys for all the love and support thank you for continuing on to follow me on this new journey I'll see you guys later bye